Ooh, if I accidentally left the recording um, section, is section, yeah, section, when we, I started recording um, a little bit of our one-on-one, -on -one, um, I was going to send you that stuff that we talked about, um, and then I left it recording, and I picked up my laptop, like, I think it was yesterday night, and I opened it, and I realized the recording software was still open, and I had the button that said stop recording instead of start recording, and I was like, oh no, what happened? And I think I have like a gigabyte recording of like, I'm not sure what, because my laptop was closed most of the time. Yeah, I was wondering if you closed it or work, started working. In Oof. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll have to go through and uh, I'll have to go through and fix that. Uh, let's see, and then I'll send it to you. All right. Let's see. How's it going, Ogden? Can you hear me? Yep. Barely. It's kind of you're kind of faint. Okay. 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 All right. Oh yeah, that's right. We found that nice hex blue. Okay. Um. All right. Oh. Tuesday the ninth, and this is not Tuesday, Friday fifth. This is Friday the fifth. Oh, June. June. So I guess. Okay, is it better now, John? Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that better, or is it? I don't know. My microphone turned off. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you're better. That's what you're supposed to sound like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's what you usually sound like. All right. Okay. So, um, I think we are almost where we need to be with this stuff. Um, let's see, let's go look at the pull request, because I know we saw some movement on that recently. Um, okay, so this is passing now. Um, Sudar Snow is doing this one, and you're also doing this one. Right? Okay, so we'll leave this one, or we'll leave this one off, um, since she's not on the call yet. Okay. Um, Alright, nice work with the... Uh, the commit titles. Let's see. Uh, good, 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 good. I think that was the last thing uh, that I wanted to see here. Um, okay. Flow of inputs. Parse inputs action. We should really flip around parse inputs action. Let me make a issue for that. I don't know. What do you guys feel like? I feel like it's kind of uh, yeah, we backwards. Should yeah. Yeah, I don't I mean, think like when I did that, I meant to do that. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, so we did the quoted thing. So how does this end up working with, in practice? Um, yeah, it works. Uh, like I used it in the other one, the entry point loading. Okay. Let's see. Let's check that out. Oh, yeah, and Yash is almost done with all the errors on Windows. That's going to be great. Um, okay. Okay, so it's showing sort of bolt. Also, I'm getting this weird error. Like, I'll just run it again. Yeah. I'll forward it later. All right. So this looks good. Let's just merge this. Okay, so what if the um, what if the 
operation name has dots in it here I think you want a max split of three and let's see Yeah, do you see what I'm saying here? Um, yeah, yes, yes, I just want this one, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so. We need to handle the case where. Oh, I'm going to write this down in the notes. Again. Um, so. And flow to flow cream. Need to handle um, that. So yeah, we need to handle the case where K is something else here. So um, let's see. Bell type equals inputs. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, you can split it. You could like split it. You could split it, take the last two, and then join the yeah, join the ones that aren't. Yeah. 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 Possible solution is to split um, use last to um well okay so the thing is uh, is that always going to be the case yeah yeah that's always going to be the case because um, flow is always going to be one level deep yeah. Uh, yeah okay um yeah okay let's do it is last to as um, yeah okay i think that's it on this um Okay, the one thing we also do need to do is um, in this pull request, let's also update. So let's also update um, the places where we use this. So, because it should be a quick change, I want to make sure we catch them. Ah, oh, wow, I love the search knot. Um, okay, let's just go grep. Okay. Um, Are you on a higher resolution monitor? Because your text seems really small. Ah, uh, what? Like your text screen is like really small. Like I can't um, see much. Uh oh. Let's see. Well, I just changed it to. I changed it to be 1080p instead of 4K. Um, let me check the recording is correct. Yeah, the recording is correct. Um, okay, then it might be something. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see, let me maybe try stop presenting and re-presenting, because I think I changed the resolution while I was presenting, so it might be a bug with that. Let's see. Good catch. 
Is that better? Uh, not really. Not really. Hmm. Okay. Here. Uh, Easier. Yeah. Like uh, I don't know if it's something there. How does? Like, yeah, it's definitely my monitor. Just, so I'll just switch to this monitor. Is this better? Yeah, it's better. Okay, weird. It yeah. must not have scaled. There must be some kind of bug with Chrome's presentation not scaling the display correctly. Okay, uh, one second. I gotta blow my nose. I'm sorry, guys. I've been having allergies, you know. That's still good. Great. <clears throat> uh oh, this is all weird. Okay, let's reopen that. Alright, oh, no, I hope today is not another just like technical difficulty day all day. Okay, git grep data flow create. Okay. And then it will give some context around there. All right, okay. So that one's fine. Oh, okay, that one will need it. Docs CLI. Um, and then that one doesn't need it. Um, <coughs> excuse me, actually, I think this is the one that Sudhanshu will end up doing. Um, how's it going, Yash? Um, so let's make a note in Sudhanshu's PR that we are ready for this. Oops. Okay. So. Okay. So. So we'll be merging soon, as soon as you make that change. Um, uh, then once it's merged, we can update the create command here. And then let's actually put that where that needs to be updated. Um, oops. Usage data flows. All right. Where to go? Here we go. Okay. So in that case, we just need to update doc CLI. Um, Uh, I'll just make a list. And uh, examples mnist create data flow dot sh. Um, yeah. Okay, and then I think we'll be ready to go on this. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm having really bad allergies. i got to find something to blow my nose here. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so, and then, all right, so we're good on this. Just need these couple things. That should be quick. Um, is there, you don't have, you're, you're feeling like that one's good to go, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I cool. think that changes. Great. So let's take a look here. Um, okay. So once we merge this, then it'll only show the difference. Um, so let's see. Seed resolution. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we really need to figure out how to, we really need to do that, that one, um, change where we're gonna, um, you know, make the, we really need to do that change where we allow config files to be used for command line, um, stuff. Let's see. Oh, you updated these too? Great. Get the secret. Nice. Uh, Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Um, let's just... Alright, sweet. Oops, god damn it. Alright, and then... That's weird. Here all... The, oh no, maybe they don't... Oh yeah, okay, something died. That's weird. Um, yeah, it's probably just something non-deterministic. You didn't change anything in there, so... Um, let's see. Close to put operations, convert to GIF. The outputs don't result. Dot output file. Okay, yes, looks good. Um, input mode, operations, dot, convert to GIF, dot inputs, dot input file. Okay, we need to probably automate this tutorial as well. As Sutanchu found out, we've got, you know, these tutorials are kind of a, a pain to test. Um, so we need to automate them at some point. Um, check secret match. Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay. Seed secret dot any equals any file. Um. We should still want to add those two. Let's see here. Um. Okay. Let me just one second here. Um, okay, the change, nice. Um, Any secret. Um, okay. Uh, all right, this is not quite how I think we should do this. Um, so a concern with um, the secret file name coming from seed right now is that the um, inputs also come from seed. Um, the inputs from the... Uh, the inputs from the... Let's see. Wait a minute. 
get the inputs from the server. Well, I don't think it's a problem. Right now, we don't want to change when something. The, like, when they are deploying, they will have a spot preset, right? Yeah, well, so, I mean, they can see, they'd see, you'd see that the seed, the secret file name comes from the seed, right? But the thing is yeah. that this isn't supposed to be, like, the secret file name really isn't supposed to be something that um, is in input. It's more of a, it's more of a, it's more of a kin config type thing, right? So seed is something that might be an input at some point. But this is never going to be something that it, that would be an input. This is always... Well, so, okay. So, the other thing is that... Um, the other thing is that the way that this was supposed to work, I was realizing, um, was... Oh, sorry. One sec. All right. So, the way that this was supposed to work was... Um, let me just sort of demo... Um, so, if we ran, the, or let's see, we ran the data flow, let's see, where is the, um, the idea was that you could populate the config of an operation using secret, the secret, um, storage. Um, so basically, the configuration could be a secret um, rather than stored, um, you know, in the in the data flow file, right under the config um, dictionary. So it would sort of just go and populate it itself. Um, let's see. So how should we do this? Um, I'm realizing that we only did sort of part of this. Um, well, it was my fault. I didn't communicate that well enough. Um, let's see. So the best way that we could probably do this is it's when we run the data flow, we need to be able to... Um, that's when we run the data flow. We need to be able to have secret storage in there. Um and specify what things. So, any secret, secret store. It has to be within like the running of the command. Um, uh, okay. Uh, I think for now, maybe we should just. Um, yeah, for now we should probably just put it in the config, but we need probably a better way to do this. I'm just so yeah. My concern here is really just that. Um, sorry. Number one, um, you know, things that are going to decide um, the values that we're checking things against um, should never should never be in the, the inputs um, just in case they get mixed up right um, because an input could always come potentially from a user um, so we want to put it in the config so the config was probably look like something um, let's see let me just modify this a bit here so and let's look at one with a config fetch um, What's this branch name? A deploy secret. So we have that um, config class. We probably should just name it config, but eh, we should we should do that. Um, and okay, where's my other? Uh, oh yeah, the database. 
this stuff uses it. So the same way that we did with the database where we got um, the, was it, the, yeah, we were getting like the, the file name and stuff, or was it, um, config class, database query config. Oh yeah, that actually set the database that we were using. Ah. So in this case, we'd want the config class to be like the um, the secret, right? So check secret config. Uh, Let's see. Um, so base secret. Let's see. Um, let's see. Secret. Um, and then, right, it would already be instantiated. And so we would just say, you know, self.config, self.config, or well, self.config dot. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then you'd have to do imp enter. Yeah, same stuff. Okay, that's right. So the same way we did this. So context enter database self.parent. So, and these are obviously, so these were shorthand for um, when, because the operation is one of those co double context entry um, sort of type of things, right? And so we do the double context entry um, on that. So, SCTX. So then we should just be able to get from SCTX, and that way it's the same thing that we sort of found out with them. Um, um, with Sakshan's pull request recently, um, where we did the, uh, uh, what was it, the, um, oh yeah, the uh, pre-processing that this dramatically improves the performance of it too. So let's see, um, oops, it's laggy, laggy, laggy. All right, so now in this case, now we're always going to have it, you know, it'll, it'll come predefined, um, so we won't have to worry about the fact that, you know, someone could accidentally uh, accept this the place to get the seeker from the user um, and then uh, and, and it'll be uh, it'll be configured uh, with the rest of the data flow so let's see so, okay, diff. we need to figure out how to automate this at some point too so oh and config is probably not imported No, they're just not sure. So, file diff, file dot base import. Config. Okay. Uh, I will, let's see. Let's also look at that data flow. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. So, this is the webhook data flow. And you got that by generating it with, let's see, this is the way that you generated it. And you know what we're realizing now is that we need um, the same thing as we have to the flow command. We need it for the config command. Um, so let's see. So basically, though, since you have, um, once you do, Let's see. I think what you'll do for the flow command will basically just be, well, let's see, for this guy it was, it's gonna be, okay, well, actually, let me also look at this. So this split dot separated here is you split on dots and then you look for, um, then you're looking for so you might want to actually do split dot separated here too in case the last one is um, something that uh, has let's 
you see what I'm saying? So in case the last thing has, yeah, so let's use... But uh, then it has to come in single quotes. But will it ever do that here? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could pass it. Well, isn't it, is this, oh. this single quotes or double quotes, or is this just single quotes? Uh, single or double. Okay, okay, yeah, so let's use split dot separated. Okay. Here. Um, and let's see. I mean, while you're at it, since you have to modify this one, also throw in the um, config stuff. And then, so, let's see. So, because that should just be a copy-paste of, like, this. T actually, mm -hmm. that shouldn't be a copy-paste. It should just be for kv and self.flow, you do split. Um, yeah, you do split, and then you just do the um, traverse set on dataflow.config. So let's add another support for setting config. Yeah. It should just be kb and self.config. Uh, v or k equals split dot separated. Oops. K and then traverse set. All right, uh, that should be that. Um, oh no, don't add a file. Um, okay. All right, and then what you can do is you could set the any foil any file here, right? By doing config equals um, what is it? It will be um, the create any secret dot where is it? Uh, oh, other data flow, yeah. It's this one. Check secret match. Dot. Let's check a secret match. Dot secret. Dot. Uh, plug in. Equals any, or let's see, and then And does traverse set create dictionaries if they don't exist? Um, it does not. So current level equals level current. Um, let's see. So we should probably change this. OK, now this isn't in the right one. No, it is. Okay, because we're, yeah, you're going to have to, you're probably going to want to pull out the commits that you used in this one, or you're going to want to pull out, you're going to want to pull them out of here, like use rebase and delete them, and then use rebase and re-add them once you merge, once this is correct, right? Does that make sense? Did you do them like yeah, that? Yes. Okay, cool. Because um, you're probably yeah, going to want to do them. All right, okay, great. So let's see, and then you're probably going to want to do Right, something like um, if not level in current current level equals uh, or well, is this what we're saying here? Um, um, for level, yeah, because we want to be able to. It's actually getting to the last one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Makes I'm sense. just saying, yeah, so I'm saying here what we're going to want to do is 
dot secret config dot file name right um, is this so and this is any right so because what we're going to want to generate is um, config uh, check secret plugin um, secret um, plugin is any right and then oops config is file name and then this right so oops all right i'm sorry let's see let's wrap this up i think that's the last bit of stuff on these pull requests I think this sort of gets us to a place where we've got everything that we needed to talk about here. Because um, now, yeah, now it's in the config, which is what we wanted. Uh, okay. So, and we may actually want to be able to do things other than that later. Um, like specify when we start whatever command is going to be running those data flows, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, we definitely want it to be in the config for now. So, okay. Um, so this might not be correct, but we need, the point is we need to be able to create dicks if they don't exist uh, on the way down. Um, see. Right, because you're gonna do config dot file name and config won't exist, of course. So oh and actually yeah, you know those won't exist either. So okay. Um let's see here. I think that's it. Alright, I'm sorry that took so long. Um so who else what else do we got? Um I know we got a bunch of people on the call who wants to talk about something. Or Ogden, does that sort of settle all your stuff for now? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, great. I'll try to finish this tomorrow. All right, awesome. Thanks. All right, thank you. Who right. oh, use have secret from config? Okay, so who's who's up next here? Um, Saksham, did you have any updates on anything? Uh, yeah, so I was uh, trying to uh, train the MNIST dataset using scikit models. And in scikit, uh, in scikit models.py, I found that uh, models only support single values. There's an error for that. So scikit doesn't support uh, array values. That's a good yes. find. Um, can you make a bug for that? Okay. Also, uh, how okay? So I commented that out, and uh, and then it went to scikit base, and there was some stuff happening with data frames and everything, and it was not, it was giving me an error. Uh, I can share my screen if you want. Yeah, let's check it out. John, should we get rid of the applicable features? And psychic yeah, we back. should get rid of that applicable feature stuff. Um, yeah, I think that was that's an open issue that we have is we're trying to go through and make sure we get rid of applicable features because um, we realized that, that the reason why we had that was right because when before we had the data flow stuff, it was like you had the features and they feed into the models and sometimes you know you couldn't generate all the features and so then you would end up without some features. Um, but now. Well, obviously, you want you want to generate all the features, so it doesn't quite work the same. Here, let me stop presenting. And that must be causing the error section is having. Yeah. Like, it isn't supporting the error value. Let's see. Don't 
That would make sense. So guys, I do have a hard stop here at 10, unfortunately. Just FYI. Alright. Oh, so it might be worth running this through just for when you're testing this stuff. It might be for, worth running it through the edit command, right? So you can save it without using the data flow. Or, I don't know, maybe you already did that. For well, the I'm not using the data. Oh, you're not using the normalization. Okay, float argument yeah. must be a string or number, not tuple. And I take it the tuple is, is that tuple. array. So the yes. tuple is the giant array. Okay. Hmm. Type error. So I was able to fix this with the. You're cutting in and out a little bit. Something I did uh, like. Uh, so I don't know what the. Hello. Yeah. So you yeah, fixed so it with I one. Uh, so yeah, so I was I just found a little workaround so that so so that the MNIST data set was uh, at least being trained. So the thing is that when the when the uh, tuples come, so I'll sh I commented this out so that the so that this error won't show up again and again. Okay. So here, like when the when the X data comes, that's the tuple, right? So it forms a list of list, list of tuple. Okay. Wait, I'm not seeing any changes in your screen here. Your screens. Okay, there we go. I might be having connection issues. I think. Yeah, maybe. Can you tell us where to look? Okay. In scikit dot uh, in scikit base dot pyre, can you see my screen now? Uh, not yet. Oh, yeah, he dropped. Okay. Uh, okay. You try representing or? Uh, yes. Okay. Is it visible now? Not. Yes. Now it is. Yeah. So the X data is the tuple, right? So the it. Uh, so here the X data is a, a list of tuple, list of tuple, mm -hmm. whereas it should only be list because it won't be. Uh, it throws an error. Okay. Uh, so it's a list of. Okay. So. So you commented out. You commented out that stuff. Yeah. So I can. So it's uh, when I do this, it, it it's training. Okay. Let me see. Perfectly fine. Let me open that up. Okay. Um. Psychic context. Okay, I don't have that. Wait a minute. So, I mean, the stuff that you commented out does not exist in what I'm seeing here. Yeah, so it doesn't exist. It's uh, like a, a bug around I found because uh, the X data is a list of tuples. So, I so you, if you uncomment that, then uh, it works, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, that's that is something I added. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay, let me see. Let me see. So, xx data is a list. So you go through x data and you append the first. You append the first 
in index of x data. So what does x data look like before you train here for one record? Like, so if you were to train on one record and, and log x data. So x, I mean, because right now it looks like you so took the first. Like, it took. Like, it looked, uh, it, it's a like. Uh, Yeah, because it's a list of tuple, right? So inside a list, there's there's the, uh, there's only one tuple. So, so you're I just saying take that... that tuple and append it to a new list, and then feed it to the model, because yeah, okay. I'm saying that the X data here uh, is a list of tuple instead of only being a tuple. Okay, so. I think there's a uh, there's some kind of like uh, here in IDX three and mm -hmm. IDX one uh, dot by. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Is your feature name is or the feature is not what you want it to be. Um, yes. So. Okay. So can you paste in the command to run so I can get the same error? Actually, so because we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go soon. Um, because I got a meeting rescheduled for right after this. So unfortunately, I can't can't be late too. Um, why don't you create an issue for this and document? Um, uh, so document document what you're finding. Um, okay. What commands are running? And what changes you made that make it work? Okay, okay. And so I would say that you can do. Um, so let's see. I'll present again, and you can see what I'm about to do. Um, which is, I mean, this is the same thing that I've uh, usually do, right? But so for um right so for what we just talked about with Ogden, um he's gonna need oh god damn it okay oh wow okay it's not gonna be it's gonna be annoying to me today isn't it okay so if you paste in the issue and you can write in in the markdown formatting right this so if you do diff and then you do git diff right um yeah so you did rerun git diff like this, and then you just paste all of this into that diff section, then it'll show up, um, you know, like this, and anybody can copy paste this. So, for example, if I wanted to sort of start working on this issue that you were that you were talking about, um, I would have the commands that you done, you know, the commands that you were right typing into the terminal to cause the issue, right? And then, um, so I'll just reset this. Um, and so now I don't have those changes, right? And if I wanted to grab those changes that you had, I can copy what you have there and do git apply. And then I can just paste it in. And now if I do git diff, now I have those changes, right? So that'll let other people, you know, if that, if you, if you, if you do git diff and, and copy paste that stuff that you commented in there, or well, the stuff that you uncommented, right? When it's working, then people can sort of try to debug, um, or you can try to debug if you pick it up later and you forget about it, right? Okay, okay. All right, sweet. Uh, um, I'll post it up. Awesome, thanks. Um, and then if, yeah, let's see, that sounds good. Okay. Um, and then, so, is, is anybody else have anything we can jump on real quick? So, Sudhanshu, Su um, I think I still haven't gotten the chance to go and look at what's going on because it looks like you were seeing some weird issues there um yes like there was this uh missing definition context error uh-huh okay yeah so i'll go so take like, a look at that um do you, you have any uh, ideas or so like i had this question like like is it expected or it shouldn't be there well, so like, definition uh, not in context, safety check number of issues is basically saying that we ran the data flow and um, it tried to look up, um, yeah, because we're in the output operation here. So the output operation went and tried to look up 
safety check number of issues and it didn't find it. So, oh, it's quite possible that we actually maybe should have updated the, let's see, check, safety check number of issues. Is that actually still what the, um, it may not still have been what the, um, um, what the definition name is. Okay, let's find out. Oops. Oh yeah, so it should be safety check dot outputs dot results. That's why. So in our seed. Yeah, so in our seed, we actually need to change this to safety check dot outputs dot results banded output becomes run banded dot outputs dot result. Um, that's what's going on here, and then language to comment ratio might still be the same. Uh, yeah, language to comment ratio is. Uh oh, it looks like it actually disappeared from this one. Yeah, okay. But I think that was because um I think that was because we we didn't have the flow working when maybe you regenerated the output here. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's what's going on there. Yeah. Is yeah. Alright, sweet. So we figured that out. Yay. Um is there anything else that you were, so I think you're just waiting on the flow stuff, and Agen, it sounds like, I mean, that those changes there were basically, it sounds like it's pretty minimal on the flow thing, and then the, the FFmpeg might be a little bit heavier, um, but... Yeah, the flow thing, I'm almost done. Okay, great. I figure, yeah, I figured you'd be, <laughs> you'd be close. All right. Um, and then, so, uh, Naeem, is there anything you wanted to recap? I think we had, um, let's see. To, um, found out we needed to rename um, uh, definitions in for spec for spec of output operation um, in seed um, will update create commands once again it is finished um, at PR okay um, and then let's see so Naeem uh, oh yeah the ice cream uh, yeah. demo that's right yeah I it, it, if you could tell me briefly how many data samples we should change it for synthetic okay. data sets like yeah I mean Thousand, ten thousand. I mean, so I think what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to probably, you know, you, you're going to want to, I think, let's see, I think, um, let me see. I would grab, like, you're going to automate the creation of the data, right? So it's sort of going to be, it shouldn't be more of a task to grab more data than it would be otherwise, right? Um, so you're gonna remember you're gonna make that linear function that basically says, okay, if if my average temperature is about this, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to uh, uh, generate, you know, if my average temperature is X, I'm gonna generate ice cream sales corresponding to X, right? Um, mm. And uh, then where you're going to do, right? So that's going to be sort of like, that's your, your random data generator is that linear function, right? And then right. We, we, you're going to find, you're going to want to find, so you're just going to want to pick cities at random and you can probably go to Wikipedia and scrape a list of city names, right? And you mm -hmm. can just then go and feed that through your weather data grabber for each month and say, okay, what is the temperature? Now you run that through your fake data generator you know your your fake linear function to generate um what the ice cream sale is and then so the reverse of this right so, so the demo is actually to go predict for other cities what would the linear function you know predict the sales right. data to be right um and then if somebody wanted to they could put in their actual sales data for you know xyz product um so I would say basically the main concern here is figuring out how to grab that temperature data um, mm -hmm. and then um, 
and then you you just you know make your little fake fake function and and you just feed a bunch of cities through it and because you're going to be running this operation that grabs temperature data for city and month uh, over and over again, so it won't it won't sort of be any more hassle to grab more records if you want to, right? If you want to create more test data, you can just sort of play with it. Um, the results yeah. are all going to be sort of you know arbitrary, right? Um, okay. Yeah. So and and it should be. You I mean you should be getting good accuracy, right? Because you should you know if you run this through something like uh, I don't know you're gonna you're gonna want to run it maybe through some of the scikit models, right? And and mm -hmm. and and find out which one produces some good results or or do a few of them or yeah just just do one. Um, but yeah, um, I have to run now. But okay, all right. Um, yeah, and they just ping me if there's any other questions on this. So. Um, okay. Yash, did you have anything you wanted to s update with real quick? John, uh, just one small thing. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we are already ha we already have something called config to specify what config loader we are using. So um, should we change that or should we change the new one? To specify what config loader we're using. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pro oh yeah. Um. Well, yeah, that should probably be changed to config loader then. Um, so, yeah, we should probably change that to config loader. Um, I guess that's not going to be, okay. that's kind of annoying, um, to go through and change all yeah, those. Uh, it, um, yeah. but, I mean, that's basically yeah. only every time there's an invocation of data flow, create with dash config, which there aren't going to be too yeah, many I think of we those. Should, yeah, change. So. And, yeah, I did a git grip and it's small, and it's yeah. probably somewhere in the test also, I'll go around and change that. Yeah, we're going to have to probably do that eventually, right, so. Cool. All right, thanks guys. Sorry I have to have a, a stop today here, but all right. I'll see you guys online and ping me if there's anything else. So, all right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you, bye.